Oh man, no, the red wedding was in three. I can't put that last. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know, people will never forgive me. Do you have a strong opinion about what happened with Game of Thrones, Jeremy? Yeah, I guess I do have a strong opinion. I think it was amazing. I loved it. I, uh, I, it, it's funny because I've just rewatched it, actually, the entire thing. Um, you know, Sarah, my writing partner, producing partner, we're huge fans. Um, and it's just excellent. It's like, it's like nothing I've ever really seen on television before. And I thought the, the finale, you know, really, especially on a rewatch was awesome. And like, I could actually track, I know a lot of people were upset that uh, I think the controversy was the character Daenerys wouldn't, wouldn't, um, wouldn't, have have retaliated exactly the way she did um but if you watch <laughs> and because we just did this if you watch all the seasons back to back you can really see her her <clears throat> aggression was always there but people were keeping her in check and then finally she just released it all um so i thought it was great I, I love Game of Thrones. So the ending was was satisfying to the two of you. The ending was completely satisfying for us. Yeah, we loved it. I know a lot of people had their misgivings, but I think if people, you know, it's it's difficult because how can you please everybody who watched it? And and people loved it so much. I loved it so much that it's it's really hard to. I totally understand that. I. Uh, meet everyone's expectations but i think on the rewatch it it really is even better do you wish that george rr R. martin had completed all of the books beforehand did you notice a difference in the writing style so actually i would never read any of the books so i don't know i've only been a fan of the television series and i always love the writing in that i do know that people said I think some people I knew had read some of the books, but I've actually never read any of them. So I'm still a fan. In the end, do you think any mistakes were made with the final season? You know, I, I, I do think <clears throat> the final season obviously was so big. I mean, every episode was, I think, what, 90 minutes long maybe? But... Um, you know, again, just it's all fresh in my mind because I just I just saw them all. But you know, I think every episode was just so huge and and it had so many you know battle sequences and just just really really big production stuff. You know, I think there was what seven episodes, and so maybe you know if they could have had like maybe two or three more episodes, two more episodes. Um, Maybe it would have helped people feel a little more um, like like the character of Daenerys had 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 a little bit more of an arc, which I think people were reacting to. Um, so you know, I think I think they could have done that, but for the seven episodes and for how big they were, and for just what a spectacle! Like they were amazing. You know, the battles and the 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 final battle at Winterfell there and. It was like the best television I'd ever seen. So I loved it. I thought it was great. And um, no, it, it totally satisfied me. So the first time the two of you watched the entirety of the, of the different seasons, when you went to Twitter and you saw some of the outrage from the fans, what was your thought? I just thought, you know, when I went to Twitter, after we had watched the finale and we looked on Twitter and saw people were outraged. I was a little, you know, I was a little bit shocked actually because it's just like, had been such a amazing show the entire time. And I just felt like people were kind of like, um, not taking all of that into consideration, you know? Um, but I think, you know, again, you it's 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 impossible to please everybody and it's impossible to please everybody on Twitter. 
you know, the the uh, <laughs> the outrage, and and I thought it was just excellent. I think I think people were overreacting, and again, I think if people watch it again and even watch the entire series, I think the the signs and the clues to what they were reacting against were really always there. Um, and it's hard because, you know, Game of Thrones, there would be these huge gaps between seasons. I remember like, what was it, like a year or a year and a half even. Um, so it's, you know, that's a long time. And I think you, maybe you, people would just, you know, maybe forget or just, um, you know, just weren't remembering exactly. But if you watch them all back to back, I think, uh, I think all the signs were there. So if you keep with the theme of can't please everybody, of course, what is your thought of, of when a fandom has so much opinion or, or emotion over the outcome of what a creator does or doesn't do? Gosh, it's so hard to say. You know, I think it, it, it is interesting to see, especially in our world with social media, how like you know, the, the reactions of the fans can actually affect the final product of a film. I mean, that's, we'd never seen that before, right? Like, not to my knowledge. I don't think there was ever anything in the past where, you know, the, the public would have as big of a voice as they're having now because of all this, you know, the Twitter and Facebook and whatever else. Um, I... I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, it's it's a very interesting thing where it's like, in some cases, I think it, it probably has helped. And in some cases, I'm sure it's hurt. Um, but, I, but I know like, for instance, there was the, um, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and like people were, were really criticizing the design of the first character. And, you know, they modified it and adjusted it. And the second one, and the second one looked great, I thought. So, you know, maybe that was a good thing. And then I know there are, uh, you know, like, there's also the outrage of, like, a show like Game of Thrones, where I thought it was really excellent. And I thought that it had been such a awesome, you know, viewing experience and awesome for an audience for, like, seven seasons. And then people were just upset. And I just, like... I don't know. I, I don't think sometimes people are taking into consideration everything that came before it and they're just reacting on, you know, literally what they saw an hour ago. Jeremy, is there any way you could rank the seasons of Game of Thrones from, Ooh. let's say, the best season to the worst season? Sure. So if I had to rank the Game of Thrones seasons, highest to lowest, um, and I'm a fan of them all. I would start with season six, which I believe had the Battle of the Bastards and Daenerys crossing the, the, the narrow sea at the end of the season. So six would be my highest, then probably seven, and then probably eight, because I do like towards the end there where everything was really ramping up. And uh, the stories were kind of tying up. And so like, you know, there was, there was a lot of consequences, a lot of stakes for everybody. I mean, there was, there was a lot going on. So I think those three, six top, then seven, then eight. And then, I mean, I like them all, you know, five, I think is where Jon Snow got killed. So I really like five. So I think six, seven, eight, five, one, two, three, because I, I got to go with one since like that's what kicked everything off. So that, that'll go up there. So yeah, six, seven, eight, five, one, two. Oh wait, no, I missed five. Six, seven, eight, five, four, one, two, three. That's my ranking. So the sixth season is, sixth season is, is your the, favorite. Yeah, I'll, I'll do sixth season oh, at the top, okay. then season seven, then season eight, then season five, season four, and then season one, two, and three. Hmm. And why three, if you had to choose your least favorite? Why is it last? I, 
Oh, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, sure. <laughs> I was sort of guessing on those last three. <laughs> oh, no, okay, maybe then. <laughs> I don't want to. Wait, wait, let me see, let me see. Well, I'm... the last, because the fourth one, let me see. Oathbreaker, these are all great. I don't know, man. Season three is pretty good, too. Oh, man, no, the Red Wedding was in three. I can't put that last. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, people will never forgive me. <laughs> Yeah. That's All right. really funny. I can't do that one. So, uh, okay. So my ranking would be season six at the top, season seven, season eight, season five, season four, season three, season one, and then season two at the bottom. So two was the least favorite. For I think two would be my least favorite, although I still totally enjoyed it. Um, maybe because things were still getting going. You know, I, I got to put one up there because that's really what kicked off the entire season or the entire series, I should say. And then, um, yeah, so maybe maybe season two would be my least favorite, but I still love them all. Big fan. So even though you'd never read the books, the, the series started, you heard word of mouth. What was about the world? the world building that you loved? Yeah, it's interesting. Like we, when we started watching it, I, I hadn't ever read the books. Um, I, I just think it was very unique. Of course it was like, I think that's, that's what I really seized on maybe. Like there were like, you know, sort of like things like a medieval mythology, like dragons. And I think those things were like alluded to, but like, there were still things about it that like, it, it just felt new to me. Like, um, you know, there were obviously like characters not behaving in ways that I sort of had seen before. Um, you know, there were kind of like, you know, really like sort of like, kind of like mature themes in this sort of, that, in this sort of like um, like a medieval show or like that sort of had those elements, but there was like very mature themes in it, which I was like, whoa, like I haven't, I don't think I had seen that before. Um, and yeah, like a lot of the characters seemed very fresh, very new. I thought, again, all of the, the dialogue was really like, really like layered and really complex, but also at times could be really like, kind of funny, kind of sharply funny or like humorous. Um, so it, it just felt like really like fresh, something like really that I, I felt like I'd never seen anything that tackled it quite like that. 